good at stopping the run. Obviously, for the last uh, last couple of games, we had that the run. Um, we also knew too, just structurally, even without the one safety, the way they're built, they're built to stop the run. Even if they show two shells, they're going to get a safety in the box and end up with something in the box. So, so it looks like they had some some plans of trying to stop some of our uh, some of our gap scheme runs. And then obviously, we had a lot of run calls with the RPO off of it, and Trevor just did a great job of managing the system. So obviously, not didn't run it as effective as we wanted to from a statistical standpoint. But again, we had to take what was available to us, and I thought Trevor and uh, the entire offense did a great job just to take it. What can you say about some of those throws Trevor made, especially the ones out to the boundary, those long outs? They really they, they stressed that defense that point and made them make a decision. With no question. I think, I think all of us know uh, just how talented he is from, uh, from an arm perspective and what throws he can make. I mean, it was really good to see him do it on that stage, too. You're talking about a, you know, a top 25 matchup. You know, it's his first time he really got in a big game like that. He really come out and, and not just make the throws, but manage the system and get to the throws. And not all of those were called uh, design. You know, telling me where to go with the outfit. A lot of it was run pass options. We just understood what we were trying to get accomplished. They had numbers in the box and we made those throws. Do you feel like the offense right now has answers no matter what the defense tries to do, whether they load the box or try to play the You know, I think that's that's what we've tried to build, uh, Jeff and myself, over the last uh, four years. Just, uh, just an offense that can take advantage of what, what's available. I think we've done that in the past. And, you know, what is, what is comforting to see for these guys is now they can understand the identity of what we've been in the past. The offense that's going to take what's available. If we need to run it, we can run it, if we need to throw it, we can throw it, and then if somebody's, you know, dead set on taking something away, then we got to take what's available. So it's good for those guys to get a glimpse of, of what they're capable of. After the run game's been so dominant, how, how important was it to see Trevor throw for 300 yards, to see you guys win basically by passing? You know, I think it's just important to, to, to illustrate to him that, you know, you got to take what's there. It illustrates to everybody on offense that we got answers, we got things built in, and, and depending upon how they want to defend us, we got to take advantage of what they're going to give us, and I think that's a sign of a, of a good offense that's starting to click. On, you know, click on all we can take available, take what's available. Things seem to work pretty well, but walk us through that last series there in the first half when you kind of struggled with the clock management, some penalties. Walk us through what was going through your mind through those plays. You know, just biggest thing there was was just trying to get everybody on the same page. And, and obviously, I think there was a, a situation where we weren't sure what the where the ball was going to be, and so we we're trying to figure out what's the best call. And then, you know, we had a good call on uh, on the short yards, and then we jump off sides. They jump, and then. And that forces us to flinch, and so then now we're backed up, and so we just got a little bit out of sync. But I think when we got the ball, you know, we were moving and moving and moving, and then we got down there, we just we just had a couple things going on the same page. And again, you know, you got some young guys in there uh, in that situation. It's going to be a great opportunity for us to go. They said they wanted to put him on his back and hit Trevor, but were you pleased with the offensive line? He had a clean pocket pretty much all day. For the most part, and and, and really, we, you know, we were credited for two sacks, and, and one was a situation where Travis didn't just, just do his job. I got him in, a, we got him in the slide protection, trying to trying to you know have a play for some of the exotic stuff that they were doing because they do a really, really good job on third down and Travis, Travis just goes and cuts and misses the guy so then now that gives up a sack and then the other one, you know, they had a good call. Uh, they had us in a, in a situation where they isolated our back on their Mike linebacker and then the backside backer looped over the top and, and we just could, we couldn't, we got scissored off and couldn't get it bumped back so so I thought they had, they had two uh, situations where they where they got us but other than that, you know, to be able to throw the ball up and down the field and, and, and have a clean pocket, you know, that's, a, that's big for a, for a young guy who's just trying to, you know, figure out his offense offensive line, you know, we're trying to get him confident and making sure that he steps up in the pocket and not sliding too much. I thought he did a really good job in the offensive line protecting for him. Is this offense about where he thought it would be in seven games? You know, uh, I think you always go in with, with, with high hopes, but you know, we're appreciative of the of the adversity that we had in the first half of the season. And, you know, the biggest thing from, from that going into the offense was, hey, let's, let's learn from, from the mistakes that we had and some of the opportunities to grow and then let's create some momentum. So I thought we did a good job of starting the third quarter of our season, you know, coming out with, with, with good momentum. But still, there's enough, there's enough on film for us to coach up, to coach and keep these guys humble and hungry. And, and obviously we know that going down to Tallahassee is going to be a tough place to play. It doesn't matter what the record is and what you see on film, you're going to get their best. And when you come back here, Louisville's going to give us uh, their best as well. So, so definitely encouraged, you know, with the way that we use the off week and the momentum that we created coming out. How's Trevor handled all the, the ebbs and flows of the season? I mean, it's always different with a freshman and for a guy who's gotten hurt, we're going to have the job initially. He's just now. been, he's just been Trevor Lawrence. I mean, he's just uh, a very humble young man. Uh, his own, his own toughest critic, you know. So he's always trying to find ways to, to improve and to learn, and, and that's just he's just being himself, and that's what makes him special. He just has that demeanor where he can go on to the next play. Uh, he's a very, very quick learner, and uh, and every rep that he gets in the, in the game, uh, in the game environment, is just going to make him better. I think that's the first time we all scored a touchdown on the first drive this year. Just how important was it to get off that quick start? You know, it, it was. It was something that we wanted to challenge our guys, and, and we, you know, first half of the.
this season, we were doing a good job of finishing games. And uh, but where we've helped our defense and, and really, really put pressure on people in the past is when we can come out and we can score, you know, on those early drives in the game. And I think that's big. Uh, we were sparked by a big kickoff return, so obviously they cut the field down for a little bit. But but everybody was dialed in, locked in, understood what we were trying to get accomplished, and we go down, we score, and then now that just brings more life to the defense and gives them an opportunity to pin their ears back and, and be aggressive. So when we can stay aggressive and come out and get off to a fast start, you know, it puts it puts a lot of pressure on our opponents. What's the biggest growth we've seen with Trevor from, from Texas A&M to say that? You know, just, just – grasping everything we're trying to do you know it's, it's a lot within our system there's a lot of checks there's a lot of different you know half field reads in the passing game there's a lot of things to manage in the run game you're not always reading the same guy you know different kind of run RPOs take advantage of different kind of structures second level third level and he's just he's becoming more comfortable and then now you're managing all the different motions so you're just seeing that things are just starting to slow down for him and when they slow down for him now his talent can take over Travis dropped the screen pass earlier again vindicate himself a little bit later again what was it with Travis just had to fall block <laughs> Well, you know, biggest thing is, 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 again, he comes from a system where he was used to catching pitches, you know, and so now he's catching spirals. You know, they're coming out, they're coming out fast. You know, he's got a quarterback that can get it to him. You know, the biggest thing for him is just, you know, getting him to commit to catching the ball with his eyes. And I talk to him all the time about catching the ball with your eyes, and what that means is you watch the ball literally almost into the tuck, so that you make sure that you don't take your eyes off of it in the last 12 inches of flight. That's really when he gets his uh, gets in trouble. So it was good to see him, you know, come back. And uh, and drop and catch the catch the screen for a big play, and it was the same screen we ran up at Wake Forest that he dropped. What does it say about the balance of your offense that you've won games this year on the ground, and then you go today and pretty much exclusively win a game through the air? You know, we, we, we want to be balanced. I mean, we want to we want to dictate the pace of the game, but but then also too, defense is going to come in and they're going to they're going to have a, a game plan, and, and, and their game plan may be to stop one aspect of the game. So we'll do whatever it takes to win. And, you know, that's that's and one that's a commitment to being unselfish. You know, as as an entire offense, understanding that you know my guys have had some success the last couple of games. You know, they're they're being talked about. You know, things things are good, but then you come in and hey, it wasn't our night to have the statistics. But guess what? We still got a role every single play, and so I think that's just a a testament to the to the foundation of our program that there's no entitlement that that we're going to do whatever it takes you know the objective is to win a ball game and if we got to throw it every single down to win it then we're going to throw it if we got to run it uh, then we got to run it and again it's, you, you got to take the ego out of it especially as coaches and players to make sure that you don't that you don't get the, the cart before the horse and just go out there and execute the plan make adjustments and take what's available can you speak to the balance of last week or two weeks ago wait for us you just dominated them with the run the run wasn't there today and you just took it and, and, and it was 335 yard pass Correct, correct. You know, we didn't have the explosives in the run game, you know, that we've been accustomed to the last last couple games. And you know what? Sometimes it's going to be like that. But it's just a hats off to our guys to not getting frustrated, to still believing in the plan and understanding that a lot of the, the throws that you saw were called runs with the, with the throw option. And so Trevor did a great job of managing it. They, they were committed to having extra guys near the box. Uh, they were going to try and uh, single everybody up at the line of scrimmage and, and create one-on-one -on -one blocks, whereas in the past we, we've been able to get some double teams. So we're going to go back and look at it and, and obviously find ways to improve. But if you can go out and, and throw the ball to win, and, and then you know, so be it. And, and again, we'll, we're, we're, hey, I'm dang proud of this group of, uh, of players for, for all the adversity they overcame in the first uh, first half of the season, and to come out and create some momentum versus a very, very good opponent. Uh, 